हम आ गए वापस आने के लिए वन मोर टाइम शुक्रिया करो मेहरबानी इट्स लाइक वी नो वी बीन डूइंग ऑल एपिसोड लॉन्ग वी टॉकिंग टू सम रियली टैलेंटेड पीपल ऑन द देसी फेस्ट 2012 लाइनअप अब ये जो नया चेहरा आप देखने वाले इट्स नॉट वेरी नया यू हैव सीन हिम ऑन मस ऑन बिफोर बट वी लव हिम द फर्स्ट टाइम राउंड एंड वी लव हिम इवन मोर नाउ बिकॉज़ ही इज बैक फ्रॉम एन होल न्यू टूर ऑफ इंडिया यू जस्ट टोल मी अबाउट दैट सो आई आई एम नाउ वेरी इंफॉर्मड अबाउट आवर गेस्ट टुडे ही इज नॉन अदर देन डीजे ईवी फ्रॉम द बैंड ए स्लैम एंड ऑफ कोर्स बिफोर we start talking to him about anything else i have one really important question to ask him but before that welcome thank hey. you so much for coming back we love having you on the show I now i got to ask you the most important question every yeah. time you come on the show you've come here twice you yeah. never bring your bandmates where do you hide them cuz we come to vancouver and i'll introduce you to everyone it's cuz it's it's hard to travel okay. like to toronto so we're all located like, in vancouver so everyone's in vancouver so in vancouver like i dj and my buddy ronny plays door with me nice. and then um yeah i'm in who you guys know reminis Yeah. He's on the vocals, and Gina is my dancer, and then I have Rana and X. They do beats behind the scenes. You have a so dancer whole, in your band, so yeah, this is cool. Gina, so, so hopefully we'll have dancers, uh, creative arts, uh, this time. Nice, nice. In. So Gina is my bhangra dancer, and then we have like Islam dancers with us. So wow. yeah, it's a whole show on the way. Eh? It's hard to you can't really bring everyone over here. So nice, I nice. Just come and then I there's so much talent here, so then I kind of just. Put together. Is this growth of the band been something that's recent? Because I mean, you know, you've you've gone from sort of having Gary Mungat in your videos to now having yeah. dancers. So is this all a recent development? No, like when right, the very first show is it was like me, a dolly, Berinder was my first dolly, okay. and Gina was always my dance choreographer, and uh, that was always from the beginning. Then my dolly went to go to med school, and okay. then Ronnie came in. uh and then amen came in on the vocals but that's always it's always been like a team of like four or five and then mm-hmm. me and x have always been doing beats behind the scene nice. uh rana who's mr singh he's kind of a newer addition he also does beats uh so yeah just cuz we've been putting out so many tracks and exactly. people like to work with us and If you, if you work with a person a couple of times and they're really good then you kind of ask them like you want to you know, make it like let's be realistic if you're stuff. nominated for a Juno people want to work with you yeah. okay, that's <laughs> but that's, but see, that's all old thing. news now I think that I think you've been doing a bunch of other great things as well tell yeah. me what, what, what have you been up to since uh, in the last time we spoke so yeah like that I came out to Toronto to release that back down right. track uh, it went awesome obviously the track went huge and um, mm-hmm. I ended up getting an opportunity uh, I got interviewed by Wizcraft nice. uh, and uh, they were like yeah come down so I ended up working with Wizcraft who uh, if people don't know who Wizcraft is they present the, the IFA Ifa awards yeah. so they're the company that them their brand is IFA and so I worked with them on some huge events wow. in India so I ended up in India for 3 months and then came back for one week to Vancouver and then now I'm here so it's that pretty exciting. That is amazing. And you worked on uh, one of Salman Khan's ventures, didn't you? Like tell me about yeah, that. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh IPL, mm-hmm. uh, it's a IPL is cricket. Which, yep. Uh, I'm sure you you know about. League, yeah, right? it's an uh, it's an amazing uh, cricket tournament and the opening ceremony there they're really trying to push it to become like the American Super Bowl yeah, which is yeah. the football Super Bowl and so they had um yeah Salman Khan was one of the performers acts, yeah uh Kareena Kapoor uh Priyanka performed as well yeah, I believe yeah it was amazing and um Katy Perry was the headliner yes. and basically at the end of the show like I was sitting at a soundboard me doing like work with Wizcraft and Katy Perry sound guy is sitting here no and then like the Dubai the Dubai lighting guys okay and then we're all in Chennai it was just mad i was like whoa what happened in like 3 months like i went from like it was this i was like djing clubs in canada to like doing audio RPO. in india it was it was mad it was a huge opportunity so yeah big like you know it's it's really big of wiscraft to like look for international talent like that because they have so much talent already but they're really open about bringing in other people so how did you come to get connected with with wiscraft i know well look you had some great singles that were out and of mm-hmm. course you had a lot of buzz going on in canada but how does wiscraft sort of that was just in like in toronto for like the the, the ifa season about that's about it yeah. how did they actually sort of come to get in touch with you they i guess they they've made a lot of good connections in canada and so when they were looking for people they asked uh people on the west coast okay. who and then I have a pretty good rap on the West Coast so my name came up You've and You got a pretty good rap on both coasts. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and uh yeah, so my name came up and uh I got an email. Okay. And you know, I just replied I'm like yeah, I'd be interested and they were like come for an interview nice. and I I think right after that first interview they knew like 100% like it was a done deal. They just waited for a while to tell me, I guess. But just has this kind of season yeah, the more league, like okay. Yeah. Like yeah, I know that industry game. So yeah. coming back from being you know, such a big sort of uh, journey so being there up there with the stars and what not, coming back mm-hmm. to sort of good old Canada. Um what does it feel like now? Well, it just uh if you hear like some of the new stuff and what we were doing, we were going more electro. Like we started right. off in hip hop and we've gone more house mm-hmm. and um 
you know, I was kind of nervous about this transition and just going into India, DJing in India right. and seeing that, that that's where the trend was there right. too with uh, like the Sunburn Festival mm -hmm. in Goa and um, just even the club scene there with all the Bollywood DJs right. and like meeting like Akhil and like oh, wow. um, met everyone. Yeah, I sat with Cicado in his studio. Uh, He's awesome. Like these guys are awesome. Uh, Suketu, oh my god, like go. By the way, let me tell you, Suketu, who you know, the DJ Suketu, if you come to Atif Aslam, to Atif Aslam, in the DJ Suketu was a big hit because DJ Suketu was the man who mixed Wo Lam Hai yeah. and made it that big track, yeah. which made Atif Aslam the big singer that he is. And here we have, you know, DJ EV from Canada hanging out with DJ Suketu, yeah. and he's so down to earth. You know, it was like on WhatsApp, someone gave him, like, uh, uh, an upcoming actress gave him my number, and okay. we talked. And he was like, yeah, come to the studio and, you know, fingers crossed that might turn into a song. So I have to follow up with him when I get back you, you to gotta Vancouver. Tell me, is, what kind of upcoming actresses have you been hanging out with? <laughs> <laughs> she, was, uh, she was an actress from Australia. Okay. And uh, she's working in Hindi films and we, we just met. At is she Desi? Yeah. Okay, so this is a really easy Google, isn't it? So you might as well what? just tell me. Oh, oh her name. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, her name is Shesley. Shesley? Yeah. Okay, well, and what kind of movie was she working on at this point? She was going to audition. She'd, work on a, she'd worked on a Fijian nice. film, yep. Hindi film, and now she's going for auditions. I actually helped her get one audition, too. That is awesome. There. So, yeah, you just, you know, meet, you meet people. Like, the scene there is everybody's doing something in entertainment. Yeah. Just everyone's in music, or they're in film, or they're in photography. Like, everywhere you go, you'll meet someone. Right. So then, it's kind of what you want to do is, like, keep a track of people, and then... Uh, when you meet good people that yep. you know are good for other people, link them. So a lot of times you mm -hmm. might have, I don't need a photographer right now, but you know, she might need to do a photo shoot, Absolutely. link them. She doesn't need to know Suketu right away, but she might later, but then she's like, oh, you're a DJ, he's a DJ, link them. So that that's kind of how Mumbai works. It's really and so cool. Being sort of a big creative capital that Mumbai is, it's kind of very similar to LA. Do you ever get that feeling of where everyone is trying to sort of climb the notch, go climb the ladder a little bit, sort of trying to use you know, the next uh, step in the ladder to go up? Do you ever get that sort of uh, feeling where it, it's, 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 it's very plastic or is Mumbai very laid back in that sense? Um, well, I guess because I, I had an in through WizCraft, yeah. I guess I'd already met, I was just meeting people that are doing Big great, thing, right? Yeah, so, so, I, so I guess I, I, I don't really know like that might be there. Absolutely. But I just you know meeting right you know with the top people right away. Mm -hmm. It just I had never had to consider if these guys were real or right. if they were doing big things because here I am at the events. Here's like thousands and thousands of people. Right. Do you know what I mean? And so I didn't really feel it there, but it might be like that in, you know, in the beginning. Overall, I think sure. any, any major industry has that yeah. at, the, at the bottom level, right? Nothing, but you, you were lucky enough to kind of uh, start exactly. up at a higher tier, which we're really proud of you for. Yeah, now tell me, good. coming back to uh, Toronto, what have you been uh, working on uh, musically? So, yeah, let's say, so moving up, yeah. keeping up with the up-tempo stuff. So I just uh, dropped a new mix. Nice. Uh, it's mad. It's, it's just like I posted it and it got like a hundred. I hit refresh and it was at like a hundred. Yeah. It was mad. So it's uh, I call it an electro bungra mix. Sweet. So how it, many minutes is it? It's a thirty minute mix. Wow. So it's original tracks and remixes. Oh, I gotta tell this story. I met Danush who sings Cold Verde D. Oh wow. Yeah. And everyone wants to meet Danush. Oh my story. god, another great guy. And so I was worried about Cold Verde. I'm like, it's been out for a while, and I don't want to get in trouble yeah. because I know a lot of these guys like I have done official remixes yes. and stuff. But they were so chill, and the movie was just coming out in mm -hmm. Hindi again, and I'm like, you know what, done. So we did a house remix of Call of D, so that's up, and then I put that mix into that 30-minute nice. mix, too. So those tracks, they're just spreading like like mad, oh. so that was really big. And there's another just, you know, he was wearing like jeans and a hoodie. Uh, we were at like a Miss India launch party, and uh, yeah. Hanging like, out with aspiring actresses up. and uh, for a future Miss India, as you were hanging out was, in the right it circle. It was amazing there. It was amazing <laughs> there. Yeah. Let's talk about the personal front uh, just really quickly because we'll get to Daisy Fest as okay, well. Yeah, I'm sure. assuming you were you're on the lineup for Daisy Fest this year. Yeah. Uh, and so we're going to talk about that performance in just a bit as well. But uh, you know, talking about the personal front, one of the things I'll I'll, I'll, I'll tell you right now on the outset, uh, what I noticed about uh, you when you walked in was compared to the first time you came in for an interview, you are you look very much at peace with yourself. Uh, what oh. has happened? On, on the personal front for you to actually sort of come into your own? Um, well, I think just Toronto, that, like when that first single came out, yeah. that was my first time coming to Toronto to do a single release. Okay. So like how new, like almost no one knew, yeah. knew us here like other than on the internet really, like right. in formal procedures. So yeah, I guess it was like, I hope people like the sound yeah. and uh, yeah, I didn't know how the single was going to do. And now that like basically that single landed me in India, mm -hmm. obviously it did really well. And like you mentioned, Gary, is doing amazing Absolutely. and so just the dominoes are kind of falling into place nice, so nice. I just think that yeah like 
now my next single is gonna come out and yeah i just think like the confidence is definitely there because these songs yeah. are really spreading so yeah sweet sweet yeah. okay so, what, what, so what's uh, coming up in terms of your desi fest performance can you give me a sneak preview yeah for sure we so we performed in ottawa last yeah. year and i wrote a song just for that show oh wow uh and so that song has only been heard in ottawa mm -hmm. on that day so i'm gonna basically debut it in toronto at Desi Fest, and then I'm going to debut it in Vancouver yeah. at another festival called City of Bangra, and then I'm going to it's going to come out in June, and it's called it's called Go It's Your Birthday, oh. and I wrote it for Canada Day because <laughs> it was Canada's <laughs> birthday, so it has a little uh, twist on it, and it's all it's it's really cool. I kind of like go through the spectrum of signs, you know, like Leos and Cancers, That's and I kind of say a couple lines about each one, kind of based on my own experience with those oh, people. That's good. Yeah, it's really interesting. Really, yeah, it's, it's pretty well written. And um, yeah, so that'll be debuting that at Disney Fest this year. That is brilliant. Yeah. And uh, so is that your, are you performing only one track or is, is are, are you going to be doing some other stuff? And then I'll well? do Back Down, which you guys debuted here. Yes. Uh, now you have a new, re a new mix of Back Down out as well, I believe. Yeah, the Party Rock. So you guys played uh, the Based Up remix, yes. which a producer from San Francisco did. Mm -hmm. And uh, Exquisite did the Party Rock remix, yeah. like LMFAO's Party Rock stuff yeah. is blowing up. Uh, so yeah, so that will we'll perform that version there. Um, go. And you know what would be stuff. awesome, and I think we would become even better friends, is if we could play that track right here on the show right now. Yeah, you guys should, we, should we do that yeah, right 100%. now? Okay. You know what? I, I, this is this is the DC attitude. So I'm gonna sort of you know before we talk any more to, uh, to Evie, I'm gonna actually sort of uh, get you guys to have a look at this track. Let's uh, take a look at the party rock mix of Back Down, uh, featuring uh, Ace Lam and of course uh, DJ Evie as uh, the man behind the great music as well. Go check it out. Somebody never said it'd be a possibility, but I, I didn't think I would be bleeding, didn't think I would be feeling, feeling like a bee trying to get that special feeling, and uh, you never know if you will fail, never know if you will bail, never know your endeavors if these start to set sail. I can't keep crying, the West wasn't lying, giving up is way harder than trying. <laughs> There you go, the party rock makes up back down by A Slam. Yeah. Great as always. Hype, we, yeah. we, I know we don't expect anything less from you, so I think it, it was it wasn't much of a surprise. It's like okay, it's great. Gary in that video that makes it like so. <laughs> How do you crazy. feel about that? I think we just had Gary come in last week yeah. and just talk about his great success um, at the Indian Fight League, and now sort of he's aspiring to go on to UFC. Um, yeah. When you when you watch sort of you know someone's success and and like we were talking before the show and you were like you know you were telling people that this guy's going to be big before yeah. people actually woke up to that. Uh, how does it feel watching him actually get to that it's level? Now? Amazing, and yet he actually messaged me and he's like do you want me at desi fest because he's in town and he was going to fly on friday yeah. so he might come with us on saturday no nice. he can get his flight extended so if you're there uh we're all going to stick around after our set mm -hmm. so we're on at around um 2 30 okay and then like by 3 30 we're just all going to chill at the desi fest info table i'm going to have like t-shirts for sale free posters and me gary uh, just so I just have, we're just going to be chilling, just meeting people. So if you want to come down and meet us, yeah. We will. We will. May 26th, Dundas Square. Saturday. And, that's, yeah. uh, and you guys are going at 2.30, and then thereafter you guys are going to be at the info booth. Yeah. You guys get to meet uh, DJ Evie. Is, is the rest of the band going to be there? Uh, and uh, just Raj will be there. He's from okay. Toronto, but he plays dual with us. Too. Nice, nice. So you get, you get to meet Raj, and you get to meet DJ Evie. Of course, you get to meet uh, Gary Mangajo, Pichna Apte, Amari Gaspe. Tons of great people to meet, and of course, there's an entire set lineup to, to watch out for yeah. as well. So what are you most excited for uh, at, at DC Fest? Um, Two things, I guess. This is going to be our first time doing like a video performance. They have okay. a screen this year. Yes. They had one last year, but two years ago when we did Desi Fest, they didn't have that right. screen. So it's going to be a full video performance. And then Stranger Family is the headliner. Yes. I toured with Mumsy on Mumsy's first Canada tour. I was the oh, opening wow. act. and I, So I DJed his set for him. And uh, that's before Stranger Family even existed. So I'm so excited to see now like 
I hope I should message him. Hopefully, he can see what we've turned. Like we're so different now from exactly. that time. Yeah. So I, I want to see what his new sound sounds. I'm like pretty sure too. he's pretty excited to see sort of the way you've developed as well. Yeah. Now, cool. sort of looking at the rapid pace at which you're going at this point, uh, if we had to sort of you know zero in on what you ideally want uh, to achieve within the next five years, because I asked you this question the last time as well, and I mean clearly you know you've kind of achieved more than half of that on the list as well. What what, what more now? Like what more do you want to achieve? I, I really want to hit the festival circuit. What I okay. really really want to do is take we were. We're playing like desi music for desi people right now, right. and the the point of this fusion that I'm doing, like, and mixing it with house tracks, is to bring those tracks to non desi people. Right. So now, what I really want to do, and what I'm trying to focus on this summer and for next summer, is to do music festivals that are world music festivals, yes. that are like folk festivals. Mm -hmm. That's that's where I want to be like next year, and then I guess you know continue in that. And that went to, right. to take the sound out of our community and into their community. The mainstream community, right? Yeah, now, that's that's where I want to be. And I think that's that's a really noble cause because I think that someone needs to represent. And if anyone has to do it, I'd rather it be you because you are great at what you do. Okay. Now, before we wrap up, uh, I'm going to ask you two things. One, of course, uh, just a quick reminder as to if people want to follow you on Twitter, yeah. on uh, Facebook, if they want to check out your YouTube links, can you give us all that info on that just camera there? Just go to aslam.com. It's a hyphen slam. Uh, it's like aslam, like assalamu alaikum. So right. it's <laughs> a-slam.com. And then on the top, you'll see the Facebook, uh, right. the Twitter, and the YouTube, all linked from that. And then the downloads page, I have all my downloads. Done. There you go. So you can check out his tracks. You can check out his great mixes. Of course, the half an hour electro bung rubber. Yeah, it's something worth checking out. Yeah, uh, definitely so check So a-slam. Dot, uh, com. Um, yeah. And then Maha says, Jo be follow, follow Facebook, Facebook, Jo be karna hai, Mahisa aap kar lena. And uh, of course, uh, we're going to ask you now, if you had to request another track, uh, uh, we'd like to play that for people we like. So what, what kind of music do you want to listen to? Um, I, well, we should probably play a Mumji track, uh, or I'm a huge Jay Sean fan. Okay. And um, we, we did a crazy, uh, I should say, crazy remix of Ride It, but we made it, we turned it into more of a love song called Piare. Really? Uh, so it's, and he's heard it, and he loves it, and has a beautiful music video, so. There you go, half A-Slam, half Jay Sean, 100% great music, because we love both these artists. So we're going to go check out that, uh, the A-Slam mix of uh, Jay Sean's Ride It. But before we go, how much information do you need now? Because we're going to wrap up the show. So take our information, 416-703-2182 is our phone number. If you ever want to call us, call us. Talk to us. Joby Dil ki baat ho bata do. Hamay ham sun lenge. Of course, if you want to email us, info at tv1canada.com. Our Facebook page, facebook.com/slash must one show, or our website is www.tv1canada.com. Check out all that information. Hamse raat rakhe. We love staying in touch with you guys. And by the way, you know, I know we're now sort of in the states. So America ke hamare jo dekhne wale hai. Hello. Hope you guys are doing well as well. Ye Islam hai. Hamare Canada ka bahut pyara bachcha hai. Please, iska music or sunay a dot a hyphen slam.com. Check out his music. Ebi, it has been a pleasure again joining you. I think uh, I think we can look forward to more, we can look forward more to uh, having you back on on, on the show. Hundred so, percent, awesome. So Wicked. let me know the moment you're back in town. We'll definitely sort of meet up again. Ab ja sunte hai pyar hai the mix of uh, Jay Sean and Islam. Afis.
such a face that I could forget and Let it on a body just before a sound check Checking no cheap check, you wish you wish reunion set Got my eyes that I need like it's me against myself then I hear my breath breathe slower for a second Feel the full flip over in my chest like Today's still no sound underground How's it coming through now like Sana